Hey, it's Mr. Mice Guy again, and I have a video that I'm really excited to show you. Uh, so I've been wanting to do this for a while now, and uh, I'm definitely going to make more of these. Um, but uh, this video in particular is going to be a kind of a time-lapse video of my most recent Merle litter. Um, so we're going to go, we're actually going to start at day 9 rather than day 1 for this particular video, but I do plan to do some that are day 1. Uh, maybe through day 21 or day 30, um, but this one's going to be day 9. I'm going to show you the parents, and then we'll get started. Alright, so here are the parents. Um, they are both Blue Merle. This is the mother. The father is running away. Mother, this is the father. He's got some nice length. Uh, the father is actually Rex. Um, and I'm using the term Merle, but you might actually refer... Oh my goodness, they're both running up my arm. Uh, you might actually refer to them as Roan, but as far as I understand, uh, Roan and Merle are the same gene. It just appears differently sometimes. Um, and they're my first one, so I don't know that much about it really. And they really want to rip my arm. <laughs> we'll just keep doing this, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So I, I got these from another breeder, um, which is probably why they're not quite as easy to handle. Uh, I handle all of my pups from a very early age, so they're very uh, accustomed to being handled like this. Uh, and uh, I don't know if these were. They probably weren't, because a lot of breeders don't. They <laughs> a lot of breeders don't do that. So anyways, that's them. <laughs> we're not, we're not going to get any footage of them together like I want. That's okay. Next generation, we'll have some good ones. All right, so I'll put these guys back. So now we're going to take a peek at the pups who are eight days old. Here they are. Uh, they are super gorgeous. Uh, I wanted to start this video with day one, uh, but because I wasn't familiar with the mother, um, I didn't want to disturb them too much when they were too young. I feel like once they get to, once they get to be about this size, uh, you're usually pretty safe uh, as far as cannibalism goes. So I think these three are going to be blue merle, and this is going to be maybe some sort of silver merle or roan.
So I think that this is actually going to be my last day of filming for these mice as far as this time-lapse video. Um, we did go from I think day, what was it, day 7 or 8 until today which is day 31. Um, I didn't film every day. Uh, we did end up skipping some days especially towards the end. Uh, so you probably saw some jumps as far as size and uh, length of coat. I think if I try this again, I might film every other day or every three days maybe or something, every five days, I don't know. I'm going to put them down and we're just going to take a peek at them individually. So this is my, my favorite one still. Uh, she has, it's a female, and she has some really long, long fur. Uh, Especially for a female, I might have changed the females generally don't have too long, uh, but she seems like she's pretty good. Um, this one here is a male, but look at the length of this guy. He's got some really good length. I literally have a mouse on my shoulder. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, this one here, I think, is also a male. This oh, this is a female. This one's a female, um, but she looks like she's got some good length too. Uh, obviously, her fur is uh, straight. She doesn't have that Rex gene, so you can really see the difference between a mouse with the Rex gene. Let's see. Grab two females. This is a female over here too. the Rex does to the long hair. So the one on your right here has the Rex uh, and Angora and the one on the, well, I guess they're moving around now, but this guy over here, this female, uh, has just the Angora. You can see how different they look. Uh, as they get older, uh, the Rex kind of just turns into some wavy, messy looking hair, which I actually like. Uh, this is the this is the male uh, Angora one that I got. Oh. He's like, I'm not hanging around. He's nice, but uh, I'm probably not going to be keeping this guy here because I don't need a male that doesn't have the Rex. Uh, this guy is real nice. Um, I don't know if I'll keep him either, uh, but it does seem like he's got some good length. The problem with this guy is that I don't know if he's a carrier for pink eye or not but I know that his father is a carrier for Pink Eye. Um, I don't know if he's a carrier because his, both his mother um, and his father are black eyes, and they are both carriers for Pink Eye, so it's possible that he's a carrier. It's likely that he's a carrier for Pink Eye, but I wouldn't know unless I test bred him. So um, unless without test breeding, I, I wouldn't be able to use him to replace his father because I, I need the Pink Eye gene.
All right, thank you for watching my uh, time lapse video of this uh, this litter. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you like this, if I should make more of them as far as the uh, time-lapse litter.